Well, I remember going to see Empire Strikes Back at the age of seven. The scene that stood out to me was the Attacks walking in the snow. And I was like, machines that walk, that's cool. Why use wheels when you can have legs? So that definitely inspired a whole lifetime of building walking machines. This is my secret life. This is my secret life. Yes. I left school and I started an electronics apprenticeship. Towards the end of my apprenticeship, someone gave me a book on the making of Star Wars and I saw they used electronic engineers and I was like, oh, really? And I went to uh, a couple of television shows. I just blagged my way in and said, look, you know, I'm, I do electronics, could you give us a job? They offered me some work in the summer. It was a TV series called Space Precinct. That was my move into the film industry. My role is the electronics and software guy. So someone else usually builds the thing and then they give it to me to figure out what electronics go in it and how the puppeteer is gonna bring it to life. I get a call from Jim Henson's Creature Shop and they gave me three weeks work on a film called Buddy. When I saw what they were doing, I was completely blown away. What I thought I knew was nothing. It really did open my eyes up and kind of thought, I've got to up my game. You know, I really, these guys are great. I actually convinced Jim Henson's Creature Shop to use my control system to control their robots for Lost in Space. Once I had the control system that had been used on a movie, my career kind of took off on the Harry Potter movies. I worked with a very good animatronic engineer called Josh Lee. I get a call from him one day saying he's just started this big film, you know, can't really say what it is, and would I be interested to come in and, and having a look? So I moved into the role of electronics and control system supervisor on Star Wars and took on the role of developing the electronics and engineering for BB-8. So where's your base? Oh, I'm BB-8, tell him. The Ilenium system. Yes, the Ilenium system, that's the one. Get us there as fast as you can. JJ drew a ball with a head on the top on a napkin. He handed it to the guy that did the original drawings of BB-8, and then that eventually got passed to the creature effects department, and then we took it to the stage that it and finally got signed off and on set every day. I would be involved in controlling where it goes. I really enjoy getting on the radio control sticks of something we built and being able to bring it to life. The thing with BB-8 is it's a very tricky beast to control. It's very powerful and it's quite heavy. And you're doing that around some pretty key actors. <laughs> you don't want to hurt anyone really or ruin the shot. Everyone's trying to get their lines right and you've driven off in the wrong direction. Or, you know, some smoke's going to come out and it's going to die in the middle of the shot, whatever. Working on episode seven was phenomenal. I couldn't have predicted that what I ended up working on, uh, the character like BB-8 would be so huge. And it's still an amazing journey. <laughs>